You know, not all homeowners policies are exactly the same. It's it's really a misconception that there's just this generic homeowners policies. There, 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 there's differences and, and those differences can be critical to your financial protection. Um, and, and what you need to know, there, there are choices to be made. So when you're dealing with an agent or an agency, those choices should be presented to you. Uh, but there are some common threads in every policy. You know, there's, there's coverage for your home itself, the structure. There's coverage for all of your personal belongings inside your house or even outside your house that aren't structural. Um, there's a coverage that most people don't even think about or realize is there. It's called loss of use. If your house were burned down or damaged badly, you got nowhere to live, it's going to cost you extra to go somewhere else. There's a value on how much coverage you get. There's some choices to be made there, but that coverage is in most policies. Um, there's also coverage for liability, and that actually can be a very big, significant coverage uh, in that when you're in your automobile, you have to have an auto policy to protect you there from a liability standpoint. If you're in a profession and there's a, a liability issue with your profession, then of course you have to have a professional liability policy. But anything else that goes on in your life uh, where you could be sued, uh, which can be lots of things, and I'll speak to those in just a second, but that's where you draw protection from your homeowner's policy, your personal liability. And most people don't realize what a significant item that is. Now, you also need to understand that in every policy there are limitations or exclusions. Um, and what you need to know is a homeowner's policy is not a maintenance policy. It's, it's to protect you, protect your home financially if something happens. We call those perils. You know, whether, whether it's wind or fire or any other thing that you possibly could think about, it's designed to protect sudden and accidental events, not just wear and tear. But you need to know, do you have sinkhole coverage on your policy? Not everybody has that anymore. Uh, do you have special items like lots of jewelry or silverware or do you have a gun collection or maybe you have some antiques or a book collection or lots of different things that may not just be inherently covered or covered adequately on your homeowner's policy. So you need to be aware of that. There are limitations on those coverages uh, on, on every policy. Um, you, you may just have some unique things that are really important to you involving your home. You need to address those things because they may or may not be covered. And of course, you know, your, your liability coverage, which I spoke to earlier, for example, some liability policies, if you have a dog and your dog were to bite somebody, there may be no coverage. There might be, but you need to know. Um, and, and, you know, when you think about a homeowner's policy, for most people, your home is the most significant financial investment that you have. And your homeowner's policy is how you protect that investment. So you, you need to deal with it, look at it carefully, and realize you have choices and make wise choices that best fit you.